I'm about to go to this really cool event in New York City where we're gonna be drawing henna hands and drinking chai. When I got there, there were so many people. They had a few different vendors set up and cookies and chai. Everybody got their own little canvas and easel. I'm a very creative person. I love crafting, but I'm definitely not somebody who can draw or paint. It's just not a skill that I got. So I was really happy when I was told we would be tracing the hands. There's no way I'd be able to do it otherwise. We had to mix different colors to create a skin tone that we wanted. I tried my best to get my skin tone and then I had to trace the henna hands this was actually a little harder than I anticipated but I did it our teacher was even impressed with my tracing she showed it to everybody <laughs> then I had to go in and paint what I had traced have you ever tried to paint such detailed work with a paintbrush it felt impossible I was so confused as to what to do then I saw that people were using sharpies to do it and I was like well I guess mine is just gonna be mixed paint and sharpie and then everybody came and complimented me because they liked that I had mixed it but it was a total accident like it was because I couldn't do the paint <laughs> These are the two organizers. This is Fangti. She's a South Asian event organizer in New York and she's the best. And this is Manasi. She's the artist and the teacher. These were her hands. She is so, so good. I honestly had such a blast. It was so cool to see how creative people were being with their henna. I went with the design that was given to us, but people were getting really funky with their designs. Everybody had such a good time, myself included. And I was pretty happy with the way mine turned out. I'm excited to put this up in my room.